Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Google text animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's uh, take a look at the preview that we have over here. So if you play this, this is the kind of animation that we're going to be creating in this video. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to take a new blank fusion composition. Let's go to the fusion page and start creating our animation. Um, so for this, let's just first of all drag in a background node. We have this and on this background node let's add in a text as well so we have a merge in it as well so let's take a look at merge one and let's just type in some text so that we can see what we are doing here again i'm going to type in design principles i'm going to hit enter key on the keyboard and jump to the new line and type in my next word and i'm going to select this text and reduce the line spacing make sure that it is a little bit closer then we're going to go ahead and increase the font size so i'm going to set this to 0.15 now we'll just change the style i'm going to go to the shading tab and i'm going to enable under appearance i'm going to enable text outline and let's just reduce the thickness set this to around 0.015 go to the shading element 2 enable that as well and for this one, we're going to set the appearance to text fill and set the color to white as well. All right. For now, we can just disable this. We don't want that to be visible for now, but we have to enable it when we start animating it. So let's go to the text tab over here and right click in the field, the text field and click on follower. Then up in the modifiers, we will set the delay to one and set the order to left to right. Let's go to the shading tab and in the shading element one, we will set the opacity. We'll change the opacity. So just make sure that you are at the very first frame. Make sure that this says zero over here. And I'm going to click on this uh, icon to activate the keyframe. And we are going to change the opacity, set the opacity down to zero. Then let's go to the frame number one. So you can hit the right arrow key on the keyboard. To jump to the next frame which is frame 1 and set the opacity back to 1 so you'll have a simple animation like this now we can go ahead and the second shading element or second element under the shading tab and we're going to enable that as well but as you can see we are not able to see the text and that is because we have disabled it in the main shading element so if you go back to tools shading and now we will enable the shading element number two, then you will be able to see it. So let's go to modifiers and create the same animation. So we'll start animating at frame one instead of frame zero. So make sure your playhead or the time indicator is at frame one. Create a keyframe and opacity, set the opacity to zero, then move to the next frame, which is frame number two and set the opacity back to one. So now if you View the animation, you will see that our outline appears first and then our fill color appears right after it. All right, great. Now we can go back to the tools tab over here and create some keyframe on size and position. Let's go to frame 10 over here and go to layout tab over here, right next to the text tab. I'm going to create a keyframe on size. Let's go to frame 11, which is the frame next to the frame 10 and increase the size to four. So it's gonna be quite big like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing for center X as well. Let's go to frame 10, create a keyframe on center X, Y, which is the location keyframe. Go to frame 11 and change the position and just move it up like so. You can also right click in the viewer over here and enable guides to help you align things. But we're just gonna move it up a little so maybe somewhere over here great so if we take a look at the animation we have something like that but we are not able to see the entire text over here and by the way we forgot the most important thing which is the font so just change the font the font that they use in their um, animation is called product sans so i'm going to use the same font and let's just adjust the line spacing as well something like that Cool. So we have something like this. So now what we can do is we can move to, uh, we can go to the layout tab again. And from here, 
what we can do is create uh, we already have a create uh, keyframe on center xy at frame 11 so let's go forward to maybe frame 30 and just change the center x so just move it to the left so that we can read this entire word that says principles so if we take a look at our animation you should see something like this right now we can go to the spline select everything and i'm going to click on this icon that says zoom to fit then click on this icon that says select all and hit the s key on the keyboard to smooth out the graph hit the t key on the keyboard to get the ease in and ease out values which is going to ease it into 100 right so let's exit out of the spline and play the animation again you can see it is much smoother now we need to add another text that says design principles but it will be in single line so for that we will need to have another text node so i'm just going to click on this merge one and then click on this icon text plus it will add the text as well as the merge which is what we need and on the text tool we can type in the same word which is design principles but this time it will be in a single line and then let's just view this merge tool. make sure that the font is correct i'm going to use the same font uh, which is product sans so let's just view this merge tool. Uh, we can see our text it's right now it's behind the main text this big text but that's uh, okay we'll fix this in a moment so we're going to create a simple animation on this uh, text tool and we're going to animate it at let's animate it at frame 26 um, so i'm going to go to text tool over here and go to the layout and we will animate the size create a keyframe there set the size to 2 and then we will move forward maybe frame 50 or maybe 45 and set the size back to one all right so go to the spline and make sure that this animation is smooth select all the keyframes hit s then ease it into 100 so something like that it will zoom out like so now we need to just switch the text layers on and off and to do that we have the global in and out over here in the text nodes so we can go to our first text node over here and we want the text animation to disappear at frame at frame 24 um, so i'm going to type in frame uh, i'm going to type that value over here 24 in global out for text two we want the design principles text to be visible from that particular frame so i'm going to type in 24. let's take a look at the animation all right great so we have our first text and it disappears then we have the second text uh, i'm not quite happy with the animation on the zoom out animation so i'm going to go to the spline over here and i'm just going to select this keyframe and just move it to the left like so play it again you can see that now it's looking much better now all we are left with is the background so for that what we can do is we have already have our background over here i'm just going to rename this to primary bg and i'm going to copy and paste this node Control c Control v and this one will be our secondary bg all right now we can change the color for the first color we can um, just pick any color for this so let's just go with this one or perhaps this one click on okay and on the secondary color i'm going to set this to white like so so if we um, take a look at our animation you can see that we are not even though we are at our first frame we are not able to see the primary color uh, that is because we need to switch the inputs over here in the merge 3 so you can click on this node and hit ctrl t on your keyboard to swap the inputs or you can right click and click on swap inputs that way you will be able to see your first color like so and now we need to switch to the secondary color which is white and we can do that when this text appears over here so this is at frame 24 and we need to also fix this overlap text so let's just uh, first of all change the color so i'm going to create a keyframe on blend 
uh, and let's go to the very next frame which is frame 25 and set the blend to 0 so now it will be white the background will be white now you will not be able to see the text that is because the text color itself is white so we can go to the color over here and change it to black that way you will be able to see your text so our first text followed by the second text over here so in order to fix this overlap issue over here we can just change the global out over here instead of 24 i'm going to set this to 25 and that should fix it yep and there you go that's how you can create this google style text animation inside of davinci resolve i hope this video is helpful i hope it will help you in your upcoming projects i leave a link down link to this uh, text animation and we can download it and uh, load it up inside fusion change the text and you'll be pretty much good to go if you don't want to create this entire animation from scratch but yeah basically that's how you can create this animation uh, thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you guys in the next one.